What's up everyone, my name is Aditya and welcome to HD Tech. Well guys, yesterday Apple has finally given out the date for the WWDC. Well guys, for all of those people who don't know about WWDC, it is Apple's annual conference. So in this worldwide developers conference, Apple launches all of the software features. Well, this particular event is a software show. So in this event, we will see the new iOS 15, the iPad OS 15, the Watch OS 8 and the Mac OS 11. So all of these softwares will be showcased in this particular event. And guys, if you have been following all of the Apple news lately, then you know that there was a supposed to be an Apple event in the month of March, but it became a total disaster. Then in April, now we are having our hopes pumped up for an April event. Well guys, see, it is pretty much obvious that before 70 days, Apple is already giving out the invites for their worldwide developers conference. So it is pretty much clear that there will not be an April event. Well guys, we don't know Apple. They might even surprise us, but look it as a simple event. Well see, if Apple wants to focus or give a huge highlight to all of their software features, then they will keep this event like the first event of the year. They might not spoil the entire beauty of their WWDC. So that's the reason. Well, if you are waiting for the new chipset, the new M2 chip, then possibly after the WWDC, Apple might launch it. But right now, don't pump up your hopes for an, for an April event. Well, other than that, now let's talk about the overall software. Well, guess see, on 7th of June, Apple is going to be conducting their WWDC. So this event will last for a couple of days. But the main keynote will happen on 7th. And if you're a developer, you know, you can right now sign in as a Swift developer and you can get all of the premium access. And if you're talking about the release date for the iOS 15, then it will be on 7th June itself. And guys, now let us discuss about all of the softwares. Well, guys, we all know that iOS 15 is the main star of the show. But other than that, you're talking about the next version of the Mac OS, the Mac OS 11. You're talking about the Watch OS 8. You're talking about Apple TV's next update. And like this only, it is going to be a software show. But the main reality or the main exciting factor is that you don't have to pay any price tag. Well, guys, in all of the September events, when Apple launches new products, we like to see the presentation but at the end we all know that it is out of our budget but in this kind of event we will experience all of the latest software features on our respective devices so it is kind of a free upgrade for every single user and that's the reason we all are excited well guys now let us discuss about ios 15 well right off the bat like last year with the ios 14 it was a major upgrade so you're talking about an entire you know home screen difference all of the widgets were introduced and overall last year was a big upgrade but this year it is going to be an incremental one well just expect you know widgets to get little bit better the overall performance will also increase but other than that don't pump your hopes too much for a breakthrough software well guys with this year's iphone lineup we are definitely talking about a pro motion display we don't know whether that pro motion will be of 90 hertz 120 hertz or 244 hertz but it is pretty much sure that this year with every single upcoming iphone we will see a pro motion display and because of this factor apple has to tune in the entire software experience to be way more fluid so my main expectation with the ios 15 is the overall fluidity well we all know that there are so many transitions and so many animations in the entire os but if Apple shifts towards a nice 90Hz or a 120Hz display, then we need a cut shot animation. Because if Apple is having such a high amount of technology, why don't they will utilize it towards the fullest potential? So that's the thing. Like with the iOS 15, Apple will cut short all of the animations. Well, they will not remove them. But in reality, they will, you know, shrink the time period. And because of this, you know, every single iPhone will feel way more faster. So this particular aspect is very much important. And other than that, you know, the entire widgets will also get a major change. And just honestly speaking, with the entire iOS 15, it is going to be an incremental upgrade. Because with last year's iOS 14, Apple has already done such a huge refinements. You know, there are small uh, little areas, like there are few widgets which are not working pretty good. And other than that, there are minor corners which Apple can improve. But right now, with the iOS 15, don't pump up your expectations for something breakthrough. And other than that, you know, with the iPadOS 15 also, you're talking about same exact stuff. 
So overall in a nutshell, Apple's WWDC this year is going to be the online event and in this you will see a better version of the current softwares and there are also guesses that Apple might launch the much awaited AirTags and guys, if you have seen the invite for this particular event, then it is very much controversial. Well guys, as you can see, in this particular picture, it is not just a meme, but you can see a meme emoji wearing glasses. And in this glasses, you can clearly see it looks like smart glasses. Well, obviously, this year it is very early for Apple to launch them. But it is also a point, like Apple might even highlight it or it might just be a meme. But the thing is, if Apple wants to switch towards complete AR glasses or the smart glasses, then Apple has to prepare every single application. So before two to three years of the implementation, Apple has to tell all of the software developers regarding the new base. Because even if tomorrow Apple launches their AR glasses, then what's the point if there will be no software compatible? So for apps like Spotify, for messengers and all of the applications, they need to develop a software version for their glasses. So you know, in this WWDC, there are very high chances that we will not see any introduction. But it is also a nice meme point that like Apple might be teasing the Apple glasses too early. Well guys, with the help of this video, I just wanted to say that on 7th of June, Apple is going to be conducting their WWDC and we all are excited for the upcoming technology because we don't have to pay any price for the upcoming software. So this is a free upgrade.